What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. We are back home right now. I drove us all the way home because I felt like that was off screen stuff. And so for right now we got to look at some of our new skill points. We got four of them available. Uh, my suggestion would be, I don't know, more XP from kills seems cool. Accuracy is alright. Shotgun seems pretty dope. I do use the shotgun a lot because that spray fire is the stuff of legends. Um, I'm going to increase our loot chance as well. And then from there, I don't know, we'll have a higher chance of finding... What else was there on this one right here? There was abilities, so shops and people ask for less. Cars can handle crashes better, less damage from falling from platforms. I'll probably take that one, and then I can also get myself eyesight so it's not quite as dark. But I think I'm going to focus on looting for right now. Uh, I think I'll probably go with something like... I don't know, maybe higher chance of finding rare items or something? That sounds alright to me. Seems like something we can get locked in. Hopefully banditos are not still, like, coming after my fritos. Because you know... Oh, okay. Apparently he was having an explosive day. He wasn't super happy with the way things have been going lately. Uh, let's jump back into town. And I'm going to see if there's anything to be scavenged up inside of here. Uh, what's up, man? Shit and chat. Weren't you the one that sent me after the dog, though? Does all the loot respawn inside of here? I just wanted to check some of these little buildings real fast to see if the loot respawns. And if it doesn't... Ow. No, I want I want to loot that little guy right there, yeah. Because he might have, like, meatses on him. And I need meatses badly. There we go. I need meat really bad, because that's the only reason that I can do, like, long-term travel. Without getting myself into trouble. More bandits are here, I guess. Uh, I don't know where the dog is at. Like, it gave me a quest marker, but the quest marker went away, and so technically the dog could be, like, anywhere? And so, I don't really know. It was, like, down to the southeast somewhere. I'll probably get back out. I'll probably restart the game or something and see if that helps. That might be a decent way to do it, but, oh, there's an alien over here, and he's being a douchebag. Get out of here, alien. I ain't got time for your shenanigans. I'm a badass. I'm Mad Max. Uh, he's got, what do you have? He's got a flamethrower for eight scraps. I don't even know how much scraps I have. I have eight, it looks like. Well, then I will absolutely buy a med kit. And then I'm going to check the gun building real fast to see if there's anything inside of there. Because I could absolutely use some more equipment, too. Oh, he came in after me. Okay, so that's going to be a thing that I'm going to have to deal with. I will loot you guys because I now have newfound loot perks. And so hopefully that turns out well. They're all camped outside the walls. It doesn't look like the loot respawns. So let's figure out for a minute... See, what does that little yellow thing mean on top of some of these houses? I'm kind of curious what the little yellow thing means. Maybe I haven't looted it yet. That's like how I know I haven't been there. Seems possible, but this looks like the same building design as some of the ones we've hit before. So I'm not actually totally sure about the truth of that statement. Either way, this thing has a ton of chocolate bars and like plasma weapons and all kinds of stuff inside of it. So I'm not going to turn up my nose and poo-poo it. Get out of here, bug. Yeah, carrying them guns now. I got that DACA. That da 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 Yup, it takes care of the enemies good. And then I get a whole bunch of free meat because that's what you get when you kill creatures out in the middle of the wasteland. That's how it goes down. I'm going to get back up to the top and let it drop and let it pop and never stop. So I restarted the game and it looks like our quest marker still has not returned. And so I don't know where the dog is at, but I guess we'll just go look for it and probably get ourselves into some ridiculous backworld shenanigans anyways. Uh, there's a bunch of... Can I fuel up my car on this side if I want to? I just want to be able to drive forward if that would be cool with everybody. So what happens if I go inside this place? Can I refuel in here? So, sweet ride. You need a tune-up? Get you three scraps? Yeah, fill her up while you're at it. There we go. Give me some gas so that I can take this thing and get the hell on out of here. It's not going to matter because a thousand bad guys are just going to run into me the entire time anyways. And that's if I can manage to not crash into a wall. Oh shit, son. What are those? We're like Mario World enemies bouncing around all over the place trying to spike me up. And I am delightfully unspiked at the moment, so I would prefer to keep it that way. I, I don't want to be spiked right now. I'm just going to drive around. Probably loot some buildings or something. You know, be a G. Do what we got to do. Get into trouble down here. Wow. They are done with our shenanigans for right now. I think those are going to blow up. Hopefully. That would be my hope anyways. Yeah, explodes. Get rid of all this stuff. Yup. Prove that we are the dude. 
Oh, a little bit more ammo right there. Yikes, there are a lot of enemies around here. I feel like the stamina bar drains way too quickly. I don't think I'm going to mess with that guy. I don't know what these fuel pumps do. But I'm going to destroy him anyways because I'm a terror and it's giving me lots of XP. So I don't see a reason not to do it. There we go. Get a little bit of that in. How much meat do I have? Two out of three. Okay. Over on this side. What if I make like a fire boomerang? I haven't crafted any of that kind of stuff yet. I'm going to make a fire boomerang. Ooh, it glows with the fury of a thousand molten suns. And it looks like it comes back to me so long as I catch it, maybe? I don't know. We got a shotgun shell over there, and there's some fuel down this way. Might be able to do something with that, but this area seems like a war zone. Like, I don't think the player is actually supposed to be here. Uh, let's hop in a car and get the hell out of here. We'll keep looking around for points of interest and seeing if we can find a place to loot and maybe pass the night. I'm going to run inside. Is that a dog right there? Are you the dog lady? Chit and chat. Eh, survived another day. I'm going to go inside and see what there is. Oh, no. You better stop it. There we go. Shoot you up, and then I'm going to grab your meat, too. Yup. Give me your meat and your pudding. I'll take both. Monster pudding. The best kind of pudding. The most delicious pudding in existence. Monster pudding. That's like a black shotgun shell, and I don't know what that... Ow. It's a good thing I took that perk that makes it so that I don't get quite so beat up anymore from falling, because I get the feeling that probably would have hurt. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys want to fight, but I'll fight you if you really want it. Like, if you're trying to get some right now. I can't carry any more of these. I don't even know what you're trying to carry, so, I mean, you're... You are one step ahead of me, amigo. It's probably meat or something. Got some scrap down in here, some band-aids. We got, like, a cupboard thing. Cool. I'll take some junk. Why not? Fill me up with your junk, Wasteland. Fill me up with your junk. It's all that I want. It's all I desire. Can I make a campfire, like, inside? Is that... I don't think it's super safe, but I kind of want to do it. So let's maybe do that. Oh, I can. Yay. Yup. Make me some Make me some beef. I will be the beef master. Beef master! There we go. And ain't no need to worry about that, because the second we eat it, we're going to be all good, and our jumpy skill is going to be back on top. I'm already... I'm going to refill my meat, too, while I'm down here. There we go. Give me some of that freebie jeebie meat. Ooh, there's a locked cabinet over here. I don't know what that's possibly got in it, but I sort of want it. I wonder if lock picking hasn't been implemented to the game yet, or if it's a thing that's already in and I just haven't found the right tool yet. Oh, that was a mistake. Luckily, there was a little platform right here, though. Jump up to there, and then we'll be the hell up and out of here. Don't step on spikes, though. All right, so we got bad guys coming in, as always. Loads of them. Maybe I got a battery to power a building. What kind of guns do I have going on? I got boomerangs. I mean, half the time, that's all you need anyways. The boomerang 2 OP. Kill all enemies. Yup. And then we pull on out of here. Looks like that guy's got like a little explodey thing around him. There's like some altars and stuff over here too. wonder if that's going to alter our chances of surviving. Or if everything looks good. I guess that like once you get to a certain point... It's just like, you better turn around, and I think that counts as like the edge of the map. Oof. Well, that's one more chassis that's never going to look the same. Man. My chassis is no longer classy. This always seems like a good spot to be, though, if you're trying to farm up cars or whatever. So I'm going to stay down here. What's this guy got going on? Chit and chat, like always. Well, that didn't work. I was hoping it would. Oh, there's radiation in here. Let's not be inside the radiated... Ooh. I like water. Water's good. We got some bad guys out that way. We got a car over here. Yeah, I would suggest we get into the car. And we book the hell on out. I don't think it's going to be safe out here after dark. So you know what? Let's do our best to try and move. I'm out of fuel, but I think I got a whole bunch left inside of here. So it shouldn't be that big of an investment. Is that the dog? Oh, shit. Alright, well, I guess we'll just go forwards and in reverse for the entire night until we are safe. 
That looks like a dog right there. He's borking at us, so... If he gonna bork, then I'm gonna twerk. Uh... Do I have any, like, boomerangs? Yeah, there we go. Let's get them boomerangs bumping. Try to keep myself from getting acided on, but... Because acid vomit is scary and me... Ooh! Thank you for doing my job for me, weird little alien creature guy. I appreciate that. That was very kind of you. Good call. Got him. But more are going to spawn, so it doesn't matter. There we go. We've rescued the dog. So Bork Beast is with us now. Borky Beast! Inside the car. Quickly, Borky Beast. Yes, Bork Monster Flex. Get inside the car. Let's ride, Bork Monster. It's time for us to go back to town because we've completed another mission. Bork Master Doggy. He is the doggy for you. These dudes can't catch me. I've got that Dwayne Johnson skill. You can call me the driver. I gotta go back to the west, I think. There we go. We're kind of lucky that we actually found that dog. That really sort of surprises me. I didn't think we were gonna find a dog today. I didn't even think that was remotely a possibility. Jesus, so many bandits. Good lord. Like so many of them, and there's like no guards in the cities to actually like protect your neck. Yep, you guys can back up. I'm using you guys as an ammo farm, and then I will fight you. Yep, fight you just to spite you. There's no telling what I might do. And so we're sitting on top of a little bit of XP right now. I don't know. Maybe the dog's got to go back to my house. That seems somewhat plausible. What's up, Bork Beast? That's what I'm calling him from now on. He's Bork Beast. Bork Beast, back to my house with me. You are my friend. Yay, me and Bork Beast hanging out, being dudes and being friends. I'm going to sleep for the rest of the night to get my health back. And then once morning comes around and we don't have to deal with the never-ending cascade of douchebags that all want to crave my death and whatnot, I think we'll get back out and see if we can solve some of these issues. All right, Bork Beast. Six points available. Holy shit, how many people did we kill? Uh, yeah, I'll make my boomerang more powerful because why not? Cluster bomb crafting. That sounds sexy. I think I could do that. More XP from kills. Ammo capacity. Ammo capacity. We'll just work our way down the trees here and then loot more. Higher chance of finding scrap. Uh, loot more ammo because I always have need of ammo. Ammo is always useful. So I don't know where I'm supposed to take Bork Beast. Bork Beast's got to go around here somewhere. If you're looking for a job, check with the shop. I'll show you the location on your map. Okay. Apparently there's a job over here. Find something to do. I guess the dog quest is over now. I guess I'll find something to do. You must be the uh, rider they all talk about because I'm a rider. Must be. We got a situation with food supplies, so I was thinking... Maybe we could kill one of those sandworms. We? I'd be in, I'd be there in spirit, but seriously, that would be a lot of meat. Damn, need some more boomerangs. Uh, one scrap to get one of those. Two scraps to get some bullets. I don't think I'm going to worry about anything else, though. We've got a dog now, which is pretty sweet. I guess he's our dog now. Like, nobody else gets to lay claim to any of our dogs. Yeah. Get knocked out, pal. Get knocked out. I run through your flamethrower. And knock you out still, because that's just the kind of beastly badass that I am. So does it just randomly generate me missions now? Because it says there's a quest here. But I don't think there's a quest here. I mean, we can go do the quest anyways. It's not a big deal. I think there was a note about that that he said he's going to try and fix it today. Like he said the third mission wouldn't trigger or something like that. And he was trying to get a patch out today to fix it. Uh... What is even happening? Come on, buddy. Jump in the car. Be my homie. Dude, this car has the worst handling I've ever seen in my life. That is, like, really bad handling for that car. Grab a little bit more wood, too, because it looks like we're out. And then I will throw that crate to kill that little monster right there. We will... Oh, man. Well, I've got, like, a big selection of cars over here that I can take, so... You know, it doesn't matter too much to me. That guy's firing from out of range, so... I don't think he's ever going to hit me. Oh, it wants me. No, I think I got the quest. I just got to kill some worms. All right. 
Uh, look, like some of these buildings still got loot inside of them, so I think it's probably a good idea for us to go in and see what we can find. I'm going to boomerang up just so that I got something to smack the enemy with and make it happen. Oh, this is a car shop. Okay. I don't care about that. I can... Oh. Why did I get XP for getting blowed up? I didn't even mean to do that. Like, I don't even think that was, like, me. You know, it just ain't me to get blowed up. Um, I'll just use med kits for right now. Oh, that was the car's health. Good lord. But I think my health was low anyway, so... It's cool. I can always get med kits. They're not hard to come by. I was trying to get him with a boomerang, but he wasn't having it. Was not having it. There we go. Give me that boomerang back. His little dude over here got killed. That'll probably be some free meat, maybe. Uh, yeah, I'll drop down to here. Perfect. Knock that dude out. Get a free bone. Maybe loot him on up and see if there's anything good in here. Uh, that is a ass ton of spikes. Man, somebody's a sadist down in here. Like, why would you even make this place? Like, why is it even a thing? I am going to loot you and I'm going to take your cloth. Because you're a bad dude. And I don't like bad dudes. Oh, did I run out of... I ran out of everything. I don't have any shotgun shells. I do have machine gun ammo. So I guess we'll go in on that. Machine gun ammo sounds good. Perfect. Wipe them out. Blow that shit up. Kill the thing that was inside of it. Kill him. Uh, a little bit of meat over here. Just junk. Never mind then. And we got some cloth. We got like an empty bottle, which I think we can fill up at water if we go to water towers. And I think that's actually a fairly good way to get your energy back up is you don't have to eat. You've got water bottles. And that'll just do it for you. Do it extra rapido. A little bit more junk. We've got... I don't have any idea what that is. It's like some kind of vomiting skull thing. There's a chair I can loot right there. But I don't know if I want to loot the chair that's right there while I float through the air to protect my derriere from spikes that want to go in pairs. Because there's two of them down there. See? Ah, oh, the spikes are in pairs, son. Not impaired, but in pairs. Uh, this guy still has loot? Why not? He's not going to have anything. Skeletons almost never do. But I'll still search it. Oof. Almost got myself into trouble right there. Uh, what do I have? I've got a lot of landmines. I should probably start using those, too. As far as water bottles and everything else goes, though, I think we're in solid shape. I'm going to run that dude the hell over. That dude can get some. What is that? A bugged out building. Bugged out building with a locked ass closet. I'll shoot the hell out of you, alien bug thing. I guess I got 10 XP and some matches from that cabinet. Okay. Not too bad. A little bit of meat right there, too. So, sounds alright to me. Ooh, we got a campfire down here, too. I'm gonna light that campfire. And then we gonna roast some meat. Yup. Roast ourselves like a meaty treat real fast. And then just go in on all these dudes. Perfect. I am indeed the grill master. Thank you for noticing. Nobody nobody notices my grill master skills, you know? They never they never bring it up. They never talk about how awesome it would be if I was a grill master so that I can be like, "Yeah, I am a grill master actually. I am the master of your grill over here." And don't cross me cuz I'll get up in that grill too. And it's not just the one for cooking. It just ain't the one for cooking. So we got a loot spot right here. I'm going to get after that. Oh, never mind. It's a car shop. I suppose I, I could fill up on some goodies. Kill that dude off and take his shotgun shells. Perfect. It's getting dark and I need shelter. All right, we'll go inside then. No choice. Uh, you want to eight scraps to repair one of those trash cars for you. I don't think I want that. I don't think I want that at all. It's not something that uh, makes me feel good. So if we want to go out and find sandworms, I think they just like show up randomly. I'm not even sure how sandworms decide they want to show up. I would assume with style. If I was a sandworm, I would pull up in like a Coupe de Ville or something and just be like, Hey, what a sandworm's at? You know, because why wouldn't you if you're trying to be a badass? That's like the way that you make an appearance right there is you just show up and be like, what a sandworm's at? Uh, it looks like this place down here is like seven different flavors of a mess. But I'm going to hit all these buildings just to see if there's anything good. Damn darkness. We've got a battery right there. We've got a locked chest. I would love to open it. I just don't know how. I don't have anything that looks like a lock pick. I don't think. Radiation mask. Ooh. I can... Oh, dude. That's badass. I get turned into like a little radiation guy. Hell yeah. I mean, that doesn't really help me because I just wasted the item, but still. 
I think it looks pretty cool. I'm excited about the fact the graphic actually changes when you decide you want to be like a radiation guy, you know what I mean? Radiation guy! Radiation guy! Yep, let's go ahead and light up the dark here. And now we got a torch, so I'm going to do my best to transfer and carry the flame wherever I can take it. I'm going to smack this dude with my crazy fire powers. Damn, we got seven skill points? How do we get seven skill points? Dude, we're leveling up like a madman right now. That's crazy. Uh, I can't see anymore. I'm thinking it might be a wiser idea just to carry the fire boomerang around with me. Oh, the fire boomerang won't light it. Damn. And here I was hoping that it would. We got a lit torch over here. I wonder why the torch goes out sometimes. Where was the torch at? Oh, if I unequip it, it goes away forever. Okay, that's cool. I got plenty of other supplies. I don't really care. It's not like I've needed any of the things in my inventory altogether that badly. Uh, it says 100 for our torch, but... I don't know if I am thoroughly convinced... I'm going to smack that guy. We got a little bit of the spike action over here. It's cool once you get used to the platforming in this game, too. It's not so bad. That dude needs to hurry up and burn to death. He's making this way too inconvenient. Uh, another torch over here. Ooh, a plasma gun. I like plasma guns. Plasma guns are cool. Ow! That was a juggle combo that I wasn't ready for. This dude went in on me like we were playing... Like we were playing Marvel vs. Capcom or something. Like, ah! 192 hit combo. I'm like, Jesus. Slow your roll, Capitan. That's a lot of brutal damage. You gotta give me a chance to counter, you know? You gotta give me a chance to punish. You gotta pull punches for me because we're friends, right? Pull punches because we're... That's what friends do for friends, right? Who are you? Find some sandworms. Kill some sandworms. Good, sweet Jesus. Apparently, if you're carrying a torch... Oh my god, did I just die? I think I did. I think if you're carrying a torch, you, like, can't be hit by cars. Can I light this on there? No. I'm going inside. Y'all can follow me in if you want. I'm just going to stand by the door and keep beating you with a club until I feel satisfied with your death. Light that up, too. Oh, is it dead? Can I not? Oh, I think the torch is dead. I don't think it's going to light for me. Ooh, with the stealth kill. That was with style right there. I'd be kind of mad if my enemy took me out like that. I'd be like, oh, I got took out with no resist or nothing. Oh, he had a radiation suit. That's pretty rare. I've only ever seen, like, one of those. Oh, it knocked me out of the spikes. I got spelunkied twice. Not even spelunkied once. Damn, dude. I'm getting spiked up like crazy right now. Apparently, spikes reduce your health by a lot. Uh... I'm not completely sure what's occurring over here. But I guess I'm willing to check it out. I'm going to eat some meat to get my health back up. And then... I don't have any machine gun ammo. I do have some plasma rifles. So that would be... Maybe good. I don't know. I was hoping I could actually do something with that right there. Dude, that shit scares me every single time it happens. Get on out of here. There we go. They can't take the plasma rifle hits. They're just not built for it. They just don't have the chin for it. Well, this game is called Ash World. I hope you guys have liked it so far. This is probably going to be the last episode in our little short impressions videos of it. So far, I think the platforming is good. It can be made a little bit more floaty. Uh, the knockback definitely needs to be toned down slightly. Other than that, uh, as long as the game keeps its direction and stays open world... And you start to get a little bit more, like, weapon accuracy. Stuff like that. I think this game is going to be fairly popular with, like, the underground indie community. So, anyways, I will see you all in whatever comes next. Thank you for stopping in for a couple episodes of Ashworld. It's been a blast, everybody. Buh bye bye